it's not everybody who is meant to be an entrepreneur. There's some of us who are well placed, well designed to be entrepreneurs as compared to others. And this is a question that I want you to ask yourself, especially if you've been uh, wondering on how to get started as an environmental consultant. Are you willing to do, to get through the sacrifice? Are you willing to sacrifice? Are you willing to go through the grind that entrepreneurs requires you to go through? Or are you designed or do you choose to just be employed by somebody like I have a company soon I'll be hiring you just want to be employed where I give you instructions on what to do there's a system there are, there are SOPs to follow like everything there's a structure and the system so that you're just inside there and you operate within the structure that is already laid down by the entrepreneur all do you feel like you're made genetically or however you're made do you feel like in a position to be an entrepreneur to be the person who owns and makes the structures and says how they should be run by others what do you think because it's totally different being employed and being an employer are totally different things entrepreneurship is not just about uh, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm the CEO, I'm the director, I am. It comes with a lot of responsibility. It comes with a lot of um, hard work. The work, are you willing to grind behind closed doors for years, for months, before anybody even notices that you exist? Do you have the, the power? Do you have the, the endurance it takes to hustle and grind for years, for months, without anybody realizing that you're doing that, do you have the endurance to sacrifice sleep, to sacrifice the relationship, to sacrifice your life for that one goal or one vision that you have? Are you willing to sacrifice friends, family? Are you willing to sacrifice so many things and even opportunities that come your way to build something that is not even, we cannot even tell. Like you're telling me about your vision, I'm like, all right. Do you have the endurance it takes to go through the criticism? Do you have the endurance to go through people not believing in you, people not seeing what you're saying? Do you have the endurance to go through the grind? Do you have the endurance to go through the sacrifice? takes these are some of the questions that you need to be asking yourself before you even get before you even waste time and energy trying to start a business do you have the endurance are you willing to go through the sacrifice it takes to become an entrepreneur not just an entrepreneur but a successful entrepreneur look at the life of uh, of an entrepreneur is it anything that you admire? Don't look at the good picture, the painted, the, the you know, the, the faces they, they show, the suits they wear, the plane they ride on, the cars they're taking. Look at when they started. Do you admire anything that they had to go through? Entrepreneurship is all about uh, risk taking. Are you a risk taker? Entrepreneurship is uncertainty, it's full of uncertainty. Are you comfortable being uncertain of what is going to happen? Or would you rather be employed where you know at the end of the month, your salary will come in, your bills will be settled, and that is a month it has to have to happen that way. Because of the entrepreneurship, you're going to go three months without any clients. You're going to go several months without any profit, and you have to pay bills, you have to live. And are you willing to handle the uncertainty? the risk that comes with. So it is very important to first sit initially before you get started, sit down and be objective with 
fees eh take somebody you know very well how much time do you think they sleep when they're entrepreneurs and in this case look at when they started because you're just getting started the number of books they have read the number of seminars they have read the number of mentors they have the number of failures they have been through the number of successes they have been through the number of money they have been conned and lost in business the amount of trials and errors that they have put in their marketing strategy in their sales and and uh, anything that they do with their business the question is are you willing to go through the sacrifice it takes to become an entrepreneur because people only show the side of freedom you wake up when you want you you, you eat whatever you want you the freedom the beautiful part of entrepreneurship is sweet it's beautiful but what happens behind closed doors nobody shows you nobody tells you and you only see what they want you to see outside here so it is very important to sit down and think about who you are made to be what you are made of and make a decision if you want to be an entrepreneur or you just want to be employed with somebody you don't want to bother with businesses with the profits with the uncertainties just search yourself and know who you are if you think you can handle entrepreneurship go for it if you feel like you're not the risk taker you can do these things then look for a job and do it well because not everybody is an entrepreneur not everybody is an employee and there is nothing better than the other the entrepreneurs win because they make it because they have beautiful entrepre- uh, employees Okay, without employees, the employer, the, the entrepreneurs will not succeed. So just look deep down inside of yourself and know exactly who you are and who you're meant to be before you start uh, your business. So if you're sure after this, if you sit down and you're sure you want to become an entrepreneur, then check out my free training that I've done. Uh, the link is in my bio or in the comment section or the description section check it out go and watch there are two hours of content of education of training you to be an environmental consultant from scratch without years of experience my friend i give you my framework i give you my marketing strategy i give you what you need to try it on i take you through the process of getting started from zero to getting your first clients and moving on okay If you need mentorship with me or coaching from me, reach out, leave a comment down and I'll get back to you and we can be able to do this. Okay? We can be able to do all these things. In the next series I'm going to start to get you through questions. I usually go through these questions uh frequently. I don't have a timeline. I can when I whenever I feel like I'm losing focus, I go and check myself or have a I screen myself against this for the two questions that I'm going to take you through in the next series of videos so make sure to watch those questions that I keep asking myself this time I will be doing them for myself but with you sharing with you so that uh, by the time I'm done with the first two questions I usually have gone back to where I'm supposed to be like I always way like I criticize myself I analyze myself I screen myself against those for two questions that I'll be doing in the next video so make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I post a new video and uh, make sure to share this with a friend and I'll see you in the next video but till then may the Lord God bless you bye bye